Hi, this is Mr. Baglio, and this video will tell you how to make a simple accelerometer by me. So, in order to start, you should get together your materials. What you need is something to use as a weight. It could be a coin, a washer, a nut, a screw, a random piece of plastic. You need a glue stick. You need an index card, a small one or a big one works, but something stiff is better than regular paper. Scissors, some string, probably a little over a foot, just to give you some room in case you make a mistake. A paper protractor. This one, you could print out several different ones on the internet. All you have to do is search for paper protractor and print it out. I took this one and I numbered it a little differently so that it has positive and negative numbers going up the sides with zero in the middle where it hangs and I'll show you how to use that once it's assembled. So here's what you need to do. First step is to cut out the protractor. It doesn't have to be perfectly on the lines but it's easier if it's roughly the right shape. Then take it and glue it down to the index card that you have. This one is not going to be very decorated, but I've seen people do all kinds of colorful and cool things with their accelerometer projects. Then line it up as best you can, the flat edge with the top edge of the paper. There can be a gap but try and make sure that this line is parallel to that line. Flatten it out. Then, as you'll notice, there's a little X here and it says connect string at X. So either take a sharp pencil, or in this case I happen to have a handy dandy hole puncher, and punch that hole out. Right centered on that X. Now is where the string and the weight comes in. So you can take a weight, like a washer that has a hole in the middle, and tie a string to it. Or you can take a penny or a nickel, or any coin really, and use tape to attach it to the end of this string. Either one works. It doesn't really matter that much. I'm going to use a washer just because I have one. Tie a knot. So that's one end. The other end, I will put through the hole and bring it up just so the washer is just kind of lined up with the bottom of the card. Flip it over and the easiest way to attach this is with a piece of tape. Cut away the excess string, and voila, you have your pocket accelerometer. So the plus and negative numbers are actually um, a way to quantify which way you're accelerating. So if you hold it this way, for example, and you start walking that way, what you'll see is that it will lag this way and you'll get a certain number of degrees in the negative direction. Same here. If I go that way, you'll get a certain number of degrees in the positive direction before it swings back down to zero, which is neutral. So when you walk, you might actually want to hold it this way, because that way, I'm sorry, hold it this way, because as you walk forward, forward is usually the positive direction. This will swing backwards, and you'll get a positive angle measurement. And the same is true if you walk backwards. If I walk backwards, this will swing in this direction, and you'll get a negative angle. Hope you enjoyed making your simple accelerometer, and good luck using it in whatever lab activities follow. Thank you.